Hey there Scoobies, and Marshmallows. As the title of this video suggests, I think that if you're a Buffy fan, and you haven't done so already, you should watch Veronica Mars. Veronica Mars is a strange show. On paper, it just shouldn't work. It's a high school drama about a girl who was once part of the cool kids who is now turned pariah. She works part-time for her father who is a PI and uses this training to run her own side hustle at the school. Do you think you could help find someone for me? Who? We'll get him. Will we now? You're sweating on me. Look, I need your help. I can find who posted that test for you. I hear you do detective stuff for people. But I have noticed that you have certain skills. I want you to find my mother. Veronica? I heard this was kind of like your office. It's kind of Nancy Drew, a bit teeny. So, why the recommendation? Veronica Mars is a teen drama, case of the week, Who Done It? But it's so much more than a sum of its parts. Erin in 2004, the show benefited from the newer form of TV where we would get a case of the week, but a season long arc would play out over the season, like the big bads of Buffy. The emotional core of the first season is the mystery surrounding the death of Lily Kane, Veronica's best friend. The Who Done It premise, investigating the death of Lily, is really intriguing, and more to the story than what's on the surface. I'm not going to give it away in this video, just in case it is watched by a would-be fan, but suffice to say there are just a few twists and turns along the way. What makes this different from other murder mystery type shows, other than the high school setting, is how the case is personally interlinked with Veronica herself. Where's Lily? The show's premise is used throughout the series with a new mystery to be solved each season, so there is something here for the detectives among you. The show uses an age-old noir trope of hearing the protagonist's inner monologue. Getting Veronica's innermost thoughts on the students of Neptune and the trouble she's constantly in is a welcome narration. I'm never getting married. You want an absolute? Well, there it is. Veronica Mars, spinster. Sure, she's a bitch, but can you blame her? After all, Dad did try to send her husband to jail for life. Quite a reputation I've got, huh? You want to know how I lost my virginity? So do I. Allowing the show to use another age-old trope, that of the flashback. Fantasy. I've already lived the dream. Yeah. Why'd you join Pep Squad, Veronica? Okay, it's my turn. There, Jake Kane. He used to be my boyfriend. There is a large ensemble of colourful characters that help build the world. And as the series goes on, we see some of the nuances in these characters. From the rich kids of Neptune to the local biker gang, Veronica is usually stuck in the middle with a little backup. Backup, chill. So you may be thinking, all that's great, but the title of this video is Why Buffy Fans Should Watch VM. Well, Veronica Mars shares a lot of the same DNA as Buffy. We follow a strong-willed young blonde as she navigates the perils of high school and social politics. Veronica proves to be intelligent, tenacious, witty, and strong. Does that remind you of anyone? <music> Veronica Mars is like BTVS in its portrayal of her family life. In a world where media heavily portrays fathers as incompetent idiots, Keith Mars is a more than competent father that has taught his daughter to be independent and formidable. Keith strikes the right balance between nurturing and strict parents, and often reminds me of Giles if he had a little more whimsy. Tonight, we eat like the lower middle class to which we aspire. Fire up the bocce! For real stakes. The show masterfully balances tone between the light-hearted, quirky drama and more serious subject matter. We are also privileged to have some Buffy alum in recurring roles in the series, and Joss Whedon himself also makes a cameo in the show. Veronica Mars aired for three seasons before being unceremoniously cancelled, but unlike other great shows that were cancelled before their times, the fans were dogged in trying to revive it, leading to a movie in 2014 and a fourth season in 2019. As of the making of this video, there are rumours of a season 5, but so far nothing concrete, although my fingers are crossed. If you've just finished your 10,000th Buffy binge and still need to scratch that itch, give it a go. It may be worth your time. I'm sorry, is that mushy? Well, you know what they say. Veronica Mars, she's a marshmallow. <laughs>